Okay, so, um, hello. This is a bit of a different thing I'm going to be doing. Uh, I'm going to be giving you guys a bit of a tutorial on how to play Garrow, because Garrow has recently gone, uh, gotten a uh, big update that uh, made the netcode insanely good. So I'm going to be showing you a little bit of uh, Garrow. Um, I'm going to be teaching you the basics with Terry. So, when we get in here, uh, we're going to switch on this, and I'm going to show you why. So in Garrow, you have four buttons that attack. The four buttons are A, B, C, and D. Sorry, uh, wrong way around. <laughs> A, B, C, and D. So it's a heavy punch, light punch, heavy kick, light kick. And obviously we do, and obviously these are the attacks. Uh, used to um, deal damage and obviously you can link in attacks light uh, light attacks are much better for linking you can link like uh, free light kick uh, crouching light kicks like that or you can link in three crou uh, two crouching light punches you can do something like this or something like this. Um, grabbing is in this game. Grabbing works differently. In other fighting games you press like two buttons together, uh, with, which would be this button and this button. But in Garrow, you go up to your enemy and you press the heavy punch button and either forward or back on your uh, control. There are also a few other things you can do in Garrow. Uh, the other attack you have is an overhead, and the overhead is by pressing the light punch button and the heavy kick and the light kick button together, and you should do a overhead like that. You can also do a crouching overhead. It's different for every character, and um, if you're using a like a normal controller, I'm using a switch controller. Uh, you can just use the um, the L button to uh, easily input that. And uh, some things, obviously. You can do a kick there, you can do this. That's a very good combo. So, because it's a fighting game, obviously there's specials. So, specials are usually inputted by doing either a quarter circle and then an input. So that's a quarter circle forward punch. Which will do a power wave. Quarter circle back, kick, will do a crack shoot. Quarter circle back, punch, will do a burn knuckle. And then there's also DP inputs, and Terry has one DP input. By so to do this, you do forward, down, and then down forward. And if you do it quickly, uh, you can do uh, it's a forward, down, forward, and then kick. So it's that, and that's power dunk. Uh, a very easy way to do this is just by doing this. You should do like a little motion like that, and then uh, it's pretty easy. And then you can do like him. Oops. <laughs> Get onto that. There's also special moves by doing two quarter circle forwards and then an input. So Terry has two special moves, and that's by that uh, this bar here that I'm uh, teabagging on right there. So there's two different types. There's an S power, which is uh, like this, which glows blue, and then there's a P power, which is oh, and then there's a P power, which is like this, which glows uh, you know. There's also a punch version. Triple geyser. Or you can do a simple one like that. Movement is also pretty important. Up to jump. Left, right, down. If you uh, press back two times very quickly, you do a back dash. If you press forward two times really quickly, you do a run. So back dash, run, and then you can do a, a combo with that. So in Garrow as well, there is a, on the character select screen you should see like a health bar. On the health bar you can choose where, uh, you can choose where uh, you want your top meter to go. And the top meter, the top is a very special move. So to do a top move, you do this button and this button together, uh, sorry, you do the Heavy punch button and the heavy and the heavy kick button together, 
and you do a top move. So, Paris is this. Every character is a different one. Uh, on controller, you can just do the left trigger to do it. And it goes up like that. So you can actually combo into this. If you're, if you're good enough. <laughs> I'm obviously not too good enough. There we go. So you can do some cool stuff like that. Yeah. So, this game is very um, fast paced and it's very neutral based. So, it's a great game if you want to just learn fighting games because you don't really need to learn that many combos. As you can see, none of that was true. Uh, which, yeah. Oh, I forgot to mention, also when you're in the top meter phase, um, you also have increased damage. And, um, but that's only for the time being as you're in this uh, phase. So, once your health leaves this area, you'll know what it is at the, at the character select screen. I'll show you quickly. I'll just get into a match quickly. Um, this is... So on the character select screen, you, you're here, let's say, so you go to Terry, select your character, uh, hold on, I'll do it better this time, sorry, this is completely unscripted, right, story. So you go to Terry and you're like, oh, uh, so what character do I want? So here, top set, so you can even choose the start of your health bar, so you get the buff straight away, the, meet, uh, the middle, so it's kind of in the middle, and the end, so you have like a kind of comeback mechanic. Anyways, back to practice. A few more things we need to go over, which are the basics of uh, of this game. And then I'll talk more about uh, advanced stuff in another video, I think. Right, so... Defensive play is also important in this game. So I've set the CPU to attack now. So the CPU is going to attack, and if you hold back, you block. Like that. I just did a pretty advanced tech there that I'll be going over in another video. You block. Uh, let's see if I can block his. See? And if you're good enough, you can do a just defend, but I'll talk about that in another video. So once you block, you can, um, you can obviously uh, punish him. I'll try and punish his block. So a good, you can also block by just pressing down, uh, down, and then back, which will do a crouching block. So you gotta learn what each block does. So a crouching block will not block overhead attacks, so attacks like that, or aerial attacks. And there's some other attacks that can't be blocked by, uh, by uh, crouch blocking. Like a uh, crack shoot. That can't be blocked by uh, by crouch blocking. While stand blocking uh, blocks high attacks, but also doesn't block low attacks. So if your if your opponent hits low, then yeah, they're going to uh, get. Hit. So. That's pretty much the basics of Garrow. Every character works differently. Obviously, every character has a completely different move set to uh, to Terry. Every character is unique. Uh, if you're using the Steam version, I'm not sure if it's the same for the PS4 version. But if you're using the Steam version, you can press Start, go to Skill List, and then you have your entire move set. So. Uh, when you learn a character, obviously the best thing to do is just to go into this and uh, learn all your moves, make sure everything's good, and then start toying around with what your character can do. So, like I sh uh, showed in this video, Terry's got some pretty simple, uh, simple strings. Not all of it is true, but a lot of it is very easy to do. You do some very simple stuff like that. Like, that is a very simple one. Something like that. Uh, 
But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the basics of Garrow. In a few more videos, I'll be talking about more complex stuff. I'll give you a little hint. Let's see if I can do it. Yeah, I, I'm failing. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I'll be I'll be showing you some more advanced stuff. I'll be choosing a more an easier character to uh, to do it with. Yeah, and yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I know it's a bit unscripted, uh, but I hope you guys enjoy and I hope it helps. I hope I've given you some uh, basics with Garrow and I hope uh, you can get into this game as much as you can because this game's awesome and it deserves more players. <laughs> but yeah, hope you enjoyed and uh, I hope you'll see me in the next video. Peace. And, uh,